Rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. MashaAllah, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah nadir azim. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sayyidina Muhammad, Sayyidina wa Dinu wa Akhirin. Adulikna, adulikna ya Sayyidi. Adulikna. Rabi Tatu Sharif, Madad. Madad, ya Sahibul Imdad. The one who is able to reach to his servants and pull them up, pull us up. You are, we are not. We are not. We were talking about Rabita. Rabita. We have to plunge immediately into a subject the speaker knows nothing about. Rabita. Asking support from the Sheikh, Grand Sheikh, from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, reaching to up. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the Maqam Tawheed, Muwahid, it's for one, Rasulullah Sallallahu You jump over the hole, you can't even you leave Dallas, you can't go see the mayor of Allen without appointment and all intermediaries to visit him. What about to Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? You can't jump, everything by its ways. And Adab. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Sanwar San Ben Yok. A problem with every uh, spiritual or religious activity, praying or dua or fasting or charity or spiritual activities, muraqaba, mushahida. There's a problem at the beginning if there's two. Oh my Lord, hmm? there's you and there's me. That's what Shaitan said. You are you and there's me. Difficult to get up while we're still in you and me. Not to be Allah, but to be, how shall we say, occupied with ourselves, not occupied with him, not occupied with Prophet Salah, not occupied with Shaykh. Occupied with myself. Oh my Shaykh, I have this problem. Oh my Shaykh, I have that problem. I called one time to Sheikh Hashem. I, you heard me say this before, a pity on an old man. It's always new for me. I never remember what I said before. I called Sheikh Hashem one time. I was in Chicago. There was some issue I forgot. It's always an issue. You saw issues? No issues. There was an issue or something. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum, sayyidina. Sayyidi, there's an issue. I said, this is your mistake. I don't need you to tell me the issue. I said, but I wanted to update you. That's your second mistake, he said. I don't need you to update me. <laughs> but I wanted to put you in the picture. That's your third mistake. <laughs> I don't need you to put me in the picture. But shut up, he said. Hung up. Sayyidina <laughs> Muhammad. <laughs> Shaykh Nazim taught us a beautiful meditation or dua or abita to practice that Grand Sheikh taught him. It's the only dua we have in uh, Turkish language, Ottoman Turkish. Everything is Arabic except this one. He says, sit. Grand Sheikh said to Sheikh Nazim, Ya Sheikh Nazim, sit as if you were sitting in front of me. I say, I say, Sanwar Sen Ben Yok. Any Turkish here? I'm going to hear my bad Turkish. My Turkish worse than my Arabic. Sanwar Sen Ben Yok. You are and I am not. 
asking to dissolve my self, especially my ego, into his holy oceans to be taken up. How can be taken up with this heaviness of my ego? Ego, kafifen, kafifen, kafifen. Abu Jabbar used to say, Rabbi Janna, kafifen. Make us light. Ego, kafif, dense, heavy. How are you going to take heavy and dense to heavenly uh, areas, worlds, visions? Hashem, before him, Sheikh Nazmi used to say, suppose very few people do this anymore. They have a grand opening, a gala at the opera. Very fancy, only fancy people go there. You have to be dressed in tuxedos and evening wear. And you come to the nicest place downtown, auditorium, and you come in. The usher meets you at the door. You see your ticket. Shows you to your seat. You're sitting nicely. If you come, what's this? I brought my goat. What do you mean you brought your goat? Get out. You come, hey, let me in. I get out. You come nicely and you sit quiet. <laughs> what about for heavenly situations? To come lightly. Asking, Sanwar asking to leave my ego and come. Ya Musa, inna kabil, how is it called? Fakhla na leik. Fakhla na leik. Inna kabil wadin mukadasi tuwa. Shahid al haq. Sneeze comes from the truth. Oh Musa, take off your shoes. You entered the sacred valley, the holy precincts. I mean, without your shoes. Shoes, Sheikh Hashem explains, means your ego, ignorance. Take that heaviness. Leave it behind and come. Famous uh, story for Abayazid Bustami. Oh, my Lord, how can I reach to you? He's so far. He said, no, it's easy. Only one step. What's that? Step on your ego and come. Stop, you know, Toba, thousands of Toba. The speaker talking about leaving his ego. We can't do. But we're asking. And asking to, we intend to. In the Sit with your shaykh when you're quiet, private with yourself. You are, I am not. You are, I am not. As Rana Sheikh Hashem used to say, and Rana Sheikh Nazim before him, Allah blessed him to be dressed with his holy personality to come on us. Ego to be taken away or made low to be, as you say, my ego is under my foot, he used to say. We're far away, but if we're not all right, pretend you're all right. I asked uh, Sheikh Hashem one time, How is Malana Sheikh? He just came back from Cyprus. How is Malana Sheikh? He said he's all right, and he corrected himself. No. He's making himself to be all right. Because so many problems, but he's making as if all right. And he said, if your grand shake is sick, you can't show it. If he's tired, he can't show it. If he's angry, he can't show it. <laughs> if he's busy, can't show it. The most I ever heard from Sheikh Nazim is Sheikh, 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 Sheikh busy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Pretend as if you're all right. Allah makes us all right, inshallah. Makes us all right. Maulid, Maulid Nabi, is asking to be taken up to heavenly presences to follow our prophets, Allah is in In Kuntum to Hibun Allah, Fatabiyuni, Yahdukum Allah. The Quran says, 
prophet says it, it's that verse that ayat is in prophet's holy words if you want allah to love you or if you would be loved by allah follow me fatabiyuni you can say fatabiyu allah fatabiyu fatabiyu hu fatabiyuni follow me in kuntum tu ibun allah fatabiyuni yahdibkum allah follow me allah will love you we're intending to follow and Prophet Sallallahu he didn't only occupy himself with the affairs of this world, dunya. His important matters was for Akhirah, unseen. He went on his famous Isra in Mirage, went through all the levels of Jahannam, of Hellfire, Jannat, through the Ars, through the Kursis, through every. To Sidra to Muntaha, the last point you can understand your existence, to the world of Asma wa Sifat. Sidra to Kabo Kosein Yo Adma. Shem came here to a conference. He said, Prophet was told, Sifini, describe me, Allah said. When, when he reached to Kabo Kosein Yo Adma, he left Jibreel behind. He couldn't. Go past the Muntaha. He went, describe me. First he said, Who is there? You. Describe me. Kahar. Overpowering everything. Everything in his power. Nothing can be out from him. Absolute extinction, surrender, dissolved into Allah's, the ocean of Allah's names and attributes. He said, Follow me. Okay, follow me. Know how to make wudu, you show that to make wudu. Okay. And pray, okay, we go like that, we go up and down like that. <laughs> they say that the prayer of the moment is Isra and Mirage. We're we going on Isra and Mirage? No, we're only pretending. So we're pretending to follow him. We're asking to get up. Say, follow me up. Because one day you're going to leave Dunya. All of us, you and me, all of us, we're going to go. Where is Mommy, where is daddy? Where is grandma? Where is grandpa? Where is my friend? Where is my... Everyone went. One day our turn comes. Ask him to follow. Prepare. Prepare yourself. Yeah, you Zina Amanu, Odo Hadurakum. Take your precautions. Not only to defend against your enemies. Prepare yourself for heavenly levels. Asking to what I'm going to find when I leave this body and this physical life. What's going to be there? When Mahana Sheikh Hisham, Allah bless him, fell ill, Ustaz uh, Abu Ghani, he's preparing to do without his body, learning to work without his body. Sheikhs like Muhammad well, Sheikh Hashem did with their body, their bodily power, and then spiritual power. No longer physical power. Where is Muhammad Sheikh Nazim? You have to contact his spiritual power. Where is Prophet Sallallahu Adurikna Ya Rasulullah is not for this world, another. And calling his ummah to prepare themselves for that one. This knowledge is important to put in the heart the himma, the love for afterwards, for unseen, to follow him to unknown, unknown realms. Samar Sanbanyo, Rabbi Tantu Shuri Fadija Sayyidi. It requires the power of belief. You can't find it scientifically. If you don't believe, you say, well, it's nonsense you're speaking. What you're speaking about? It's nothing. Okay. You don't believe it, we believe it. According to your belief power. Make your belief power to be more. I'll finish with this. Mohana Sheikh was always using that ayat. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim as a hijrah. 
yeah, to something to stand on and support yourself. Some phrase from Quran. Yeah, you Radina Amano, Amano. Oh, you who believe, believe. I said, make your belief more. Whatever level you're at with your belief, go to the next level. How? Take me to what I don't know. What I know I can go to. I need to go to what I don't know. What is it like? I don't know. I can't imagine it. It's what I don't know. Well, I take us up and Prophet Sallallahu and Awliya and Muhammad take us up through levels, through med meditations, Rabita, Marakaba, through dreams, through sitting, try to strengthen our belief power. Iman power to come up only worrying for dunya, 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 dunya. I don't have a job, I need a job. My job's no good, I need another job. I need to get married. My wife's giving me problems. <laughs> like that. My husband, I need a husband. My husband's giving me trouble. No children, children come. Children's crying all the time. What we're going to do with them? Then they become teenagers. Teenagers, headache from morning to night. Sheikh used to sing. Good Good tidings for us. We got what we asked for. I mean, Allah Tawfiq, be Hermit and Habib, be Hermit and Fatih. Amen.